All right, we're here with mu musician Mike Campagni. Why don't you talk a little bit about your uh, big break as a musician and uh, when you first started playing gigs in California and when you knew you wanted to pursue it professionally? Um, well, in high school is when I started playing, and that's that when I got out of high school, it was kind of obvious that that was my path, you know. Um, uh, but yeah, I just, I don't know, I played small gigs with just rock bands and stuff, um, and then went to music school and got more interested in jazz and stuff. Um, and, and I started playing a lot of jazz gigs and doing a lot of just, yeah, I guess it's just like weddings and all that kind of stuff, you know, and, but it wasn't that creatively fulfilling, you mm -hmm. know, and, uh, so I don't know, I, but over time I just, it, my network kind of spread out, you know, and, uh, and I started getting like better just opportunities and yeah, and I met Jezere. And, uh, and I, yeah, originally started subbing for the other drummer. Um, and, but then, yeah, he got another gig, so I got kind of the full-time thing. And, yeah, it's been a lot of great opportunities. You know, we've got, we get to come to Georgia. We got to, like, open for Candlebox in Texas. And, uh, yeah, just, like, a lot of cool things have come from it. And, uh, yeah, it's been really great. Now, where have you gone that you didn't think you would necessarily get a chance to visit and play? Um, and what well, is the coolest place that you've played? Well, I mean, it's it's mostly been with Jezre, like doing like that was like total rock star treatment going to like to, on tour in Texas, you know, mm -hmm. like the fans. There were like I don't know, like six thousand people at the shows. It was nuts, and I didn't even really know the songs yet. I was like reading charts that I had made for the music, um, and yeah, because I was just filling the spot for the other drummer at the time, and. Uh, yeah, so that was that was really cool because that was just like all these screaming people, you know, for for music. Because I was used to playing a lot of jazz gigs at the time. Mm -hmm. where that's the background. Nobody cares about jazz in California, so, right? So it was kind of it was kind of a neat little change, you know. So yeah, that was great just doing that. And we had talked about this previously, but you wanted to uh, possibly visit New York yeah. to get into the jazz scene. Is that something you would be willing to relocate for if you had to? Um, well. I, I'm kind of at a point in my life, like in my professional musician life, that it's like I've I've gone through, I've played jazz, and I realize like I'm not like gonna be this like amazing prodigy jazz player. I just I just want to incorporate what I've learned from that in my playing and in mm -hmm. my influence. You know, it's just another influence for me, and because uh, because I don't know the jazz world, it can it can get. Well, the people I've been around, it gets a little snobby and it gets a little, like, just too academic that it loses a lot of creativity. And so I like the aspects of the artists that I listen to um, that, you know, they really get it. And it's, and it's, that's, I take the influence from them. Like, that's, that's the real heart of it and the real music, musicality from it. And I try to use that in my, you know, just playing and, and the people that I like. It's just a creativity thing, you know. Um, so I'm not really trying to pursue jazz. I love jazz and I love mm -hmm. playing it, but it's it's definitely not my like. I'm not gonna like only play jazz, you know, because there's so much other great music and that and I want to be a part of it. Anything that's just creative, you know. So that's what I'm going for. Do you also sing? No, I don't sing. No singing. No, no. I <laughs> um, I, I mean I took ear training in school and it got me a little better, my ear a little better. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and I had to do you know singing and stuff in it, but. I just I wouldn't have the confidence to do that now. It's like, and what advice would you give to somebody who is trying to break into the business as a musician? Um, I would say to just just play what you like. I mean, if you have if you have interests outside of you know or th things that you're not used to listening to or playing, just explore it. But don't don't think that there's only one path. There's never one path. You know, you, everyone has their own path and their own, like, just way they're going to go. So don't, don't limit yourself and don't think that there's, there's only one way to go. Yeah, it's just anything is possible and just go with your heart, basically. I know it's cliche, but yeah, it really is just like, don't, don't think you're limited to something some teacher told you or something because you're not at all. And did you ever have a quote unquote fallback career? Was there something you wanted to do? No, on? never. No. I think that's bad to have. Yeah. If you want to do music, you do music, you know. I mean, yeah, you can get a day job, you know, mm -hmm. you got to do what you got to do, but uh, don't, yeah, I mean, if, if you love music, then go with music, you know, because, yeah, you can always get a job doing, I don't know, a coffee shop thing, whatever, right. you know, if you need to pay rent, but, yeah, don't, 
but that, there's no shame in that, you know. Just do what you got to do and just do what you want with music. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. I appreciate it. Thank you.